Well, uh, as I said on the day that I was leaving... Well, I'm super happy that we're actually running late for once because this just came in and this would be a winch from uh, Canada. These packages came in last Friday and these are from a friend up in Canada for my rover, so... I've been kind of looking forward all weekend to getting this apart. Got a Robertson driver. Oh, that's the right size. Ah, those are too small. Might have to break a couple of these smaller screws because I don't have a driver for them. Figured I'd open up this one first because I know what this is. And this is something I've been waiting for for a long time. It's a very nice crate that he put together too. It's kind of a shame to be popping it apart like this, but I'm pretty impatient. Open sesame. And there she is. This is something I've wanted for basically since I got the Land Rover. Aha! And in here, something else I've wanted since I first saw them. This is a Schrader spark plug tire inflator. Screw that into the spark plug hole. And uh, it uses the compression of the engine to inflate your tires. That's a little bit of kit that I always thought was super cool ever since I heard of it. And now I've actually got one. There she is. Oh, it would be the engagement handle, I guess. It's missing parts, and so I don't know what's supposed to, what it's supposed to actually be. There she is. I'm so happy about that. All right, on to the next box, I think. All right, bigger little box, little box, it's already in my hand. Huh? Uh, apparently I've got a magazine. Was not expecting that. May have just been packing space. Oh, gasket bits. Oh, this would be for the uh, for the transmission. That'll be beneficial. Ooh, packing peanuts. All right, this would be the. Uh, Synchro hub? Okay, don't know, I don't remember why he sent that. And this would be, ooh, lock tab. There she is. That would be the uh, input shaft and uh, constant gear for the transmission. And this will be used to convert the uh, uh, what is it? A series three bell or a series two A bell housing to run on the series three because mine were mangled with rust. So that's what that is. Here should be the lay shaft. That's suffix A lay shaft. Need to transfer first gear over, which I've heard that's a real pain. Might end up getting a new first gear. But yeah, that'll uh, fix my original transmission. 
that should clean up fine. And you can see the edges aren't all hammered out where the circlip goes. So that's good. Anything else in this box? Newspaper. I guess that's just packing stuff. Man, it feels like Christmas again. expecting. This is, um, these are, whatchamacallits, uh, fair lead, fair lead for the winch. Let's see if I can open one up here. Wow, that's considerably larger than I was expecting. Yeah, th those are the fair leads. Grease nipple in there. Bushing actually looks in good shape. A little bit of corrosion in there, but... This would be the fair lead roller. For capstan winch. Wow. Yep, and then that just goes in there. Rides in some grease. The other fair lead. Ah, here we go. Something else I've wanted for a long time. Freewheeling hubs. Oops, that was a loud bang. This set of dual Maddox, I believe. I believe that's what these are. See, very simple construction on this. It's got the part that bolts on onto the half shaft there. I wonder if you could even pull the half shaft out. Bronze bushing right there. That rides in. And there's these two locking pins here. Which swivel around to lock the hub in. I'm just going to put them on the right way. So when you want to lock them, you just kind of grab that, swivel it around, and do that for both sides. And then the hub's locked. Heard that these are some of the strongest ones you can get. Well, not quite as convenient as a worn or fairy one where you, the fairy ones you can just go click, or the worn ones where you, you can even just make a tool, some people do. These are some of the strongest ones. Um, Andre didn't have, the guy I'm buying it from didn't have them, have uh, the warns, but I am happy to have any. Alright, another thing, if I was getting a cap, the reason I wanted a cap sandwich, one of them anyways, is because of this. That'll need freeing off, but uh, you can still use a starting handle with a cap sandwich. You can't do that with... Uh, with most of the other types of winches. Um, I think, I don't know, I think they all block the PT, uh, the hole for this, but a capstan you can. And plus, you can use this to hand crank the capstan, so even if the engine's shot, you can still winch yourself out. Granted, slowly and it would suck, but you can. Oh man. 
keep going. Here's the last one's fairly obvious what this one is. This is just the base plate for the winch. Looks like someone's undersealed it. Yeah, there's a that does not look like that stock. <laughs> it's supposed to be bent. Or not supposed to be bent, I don't think. I don't think that's supposed to be bent up like that. It might be. It might be. We'll see.